picking up your toys? You just ready to go? Hey guys, real quick before we get into this vlog, I did want to give a shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. You guys know I love HelloFresh. It's a meal kit delivery service, which makes it super quick and easy to whip up some delicious meals for you and your family. And they did give me a coupon code for this video so you guys can get eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh using the code RavenElise80. You guys can find out more about HelloFresh later on in this vlog and see which meal I whipped up this time, but I just wanted to go ahead and give you that code. Again, it's RavenElise80 for $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Just go to HelloFresh.com. But now let's get into the vlog. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and Zaya. Welcome back to another vlog. This is just gonna be like a spend the day with us type vlog, just chilling. Well, not really just chilling. I am stressed out right now. I am trying to get things together for the new house. We are getting so close to actual closing and move-in day, and there's just so many things that I have to get in order, and so I'm like checking my email, making sure that this is ordered, making sure that that's right, making sure that this is this and this and this and this and that and this and that, plus a bunch of stuff that I'm just working on for work. So I was like thinking to myself, like, oh, I'll just like check a few things, send a few emails, and then I'll like make breakfast, blah, blah, blah. I just looked up and it's noon. I've been sitting at my computer for hours just stressing out about the house. So I'm gonna make myself some coffee, which if you guys know, you know about the ant coffee situation. Uh, yeah, I've been having to clean it out every time I use it, but whatever, that's fine. Kinda stressed kind of real stressed right now just trying to balance everything that's going on and it's just a lot to balance with the actual construction of the house and also trying to order furniture and also trying to schedule installations because the house is nowhere near done just because the construction is done it's a lot but i really can't complain i'm really excited because as of today that i'm filming this video we are officially less than one week Less than one week, we are six days away from the like actual construction completion date where the house will be done and we can go in and start doing inspections. And you know, soon after that, it'll be the actual closing date and then soon after that will be the actual move-in date. So the first date is construction completion. That's like the first thing that I'm counting down to and we are six days away. Today, my main goal is to actually start packing something i don't even know what i'm gonna start i don't know where to start i don't know what I, but today's the day we got to get the ball rolling we actually need to start packing we need to start i don't know we need to start doing something so i went to home depot i think you guys saw that in my previous vlog and i got some cardboard boxes to just get this party started i'm just gonna bring in like four of them right now and tape them up start putting them together and then decide like what the heck am I even gonna start with first? Like, I don't even know what to pack first. So, in terms of what to start packing, I mean, we still have, let's see, I wanna say 25 days, 20 to 25 days, depending on how things go of living here before we actually move in. Like I said, the construction of the home is gonna be done in six days, but there's still more steps after that until I actually move in. So for those 20 days, I obviously don't wanna have all my stuff packed up if I'm gonna still be using it in those 20 days, but there is some things that I can still pack up. Zaya is literally over here going like this as I'm talking, like mocking me. Are you mocking me? Don't make fun of me, that's not nice, boo-boo. <laughs> but yeah, there is some stuff that I know I'm not gonna use that I can already start packing up. Like, obviously like my home decor, I don't need that for the next 20 days. I can start packing up some of my like fake plants and decorations and stuff, I guess. What are you doing? <laughs> you packing up your toys? Zaya literally just started throwing her toys in this box. Here, we might pack up some of your other toys over here but we gotta leave some of them because we still have some time. You wanna pack up some of your stuff? You just ready to go? Okay, well, we're not gonna be keeping this toy box because it's actually broken and it's not in the best condition anymore. So 
Might as well pack up the stuff that's in the toy box, I guess, and then I'll just leave her other toys out for her to play with. Like, literally, this toy box is falling apart. Okay, so we want to leave some of your favorite toys out so that you can still play with them for the next couple of weeks, but you have a lot of stuff, so we can start packing up some of the stuff that's in here. You have all these baby dolls. So, which baby dolls, is, like, which one is your favorite? Let's pick two. Which two are your favorite? This one. This one, this one and this one? Okay, you wanna keep those out? These other ones, you put them in the box. Good job. We're doing this because we're getting ready to move to the new house. So we had to put all our stuff in boxes, and then what are we going to do? Um, huh? Go to the new house. Exactly. So we still have a few more weeks, but we just have to start getting ready now. And as we do this, if I see anything that I'm like, it's broken, needs to be thrown away, or she doesn't play with it, needs to be given away, I will like set stuff aside. All right, so we officially filled up one large box just full of stuffed animals. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay, Zaya, there's actually stuff in the bottom of here that actually needs to go. It's supposed to go in those bins over there, nicely organized, but it's got thrown all in the bottom of here. So can you take the stuff out of here and put it in the bins where it goes, please? I know it's not fun to clean up and organize sometimes, but you have to do it because that's how you have to take care of your stuff, right? If you don't take care of it, then you can't have it and I'll give it away to another little kid who will take care of it. Should I give it away? Okay, well you have to take care of it. Thing is, you really can't pack properly if your stuff is not organized to begin with because you don't just want to pack a bunch of boxes full of nonsense of just random stuff that doesn't even go together because then when you go to unpack, you're gonna be unpacking a bunch of nonsense and it's gonna be so hard. So I really want to organize all this stuff, have everything sorted by like item and then I can pack it by like item and it'll be a lot easier to unpack. So Zaya's actually really good at organizing. She has learned how to, you know, remember what goes in each bin. So let's just go through this pile and put everything in the right bin. Can you do that please? Thank you. When you get done, you gotta finish this whole pile right here though. And then you can add this. Okay, so let's pick up these toys and put them in the right bin. This goes with the dolls. This goes with my food for the baby dolls. So this goes with my food with the baby dolls too. This goes the Barbie stuff. This is Barbie stuff. This is Barbie stuff. Barbie stuff. So Zaya is sorting through all that stuff. I cleared out the bottom of this toy box. That's basically what all that stuff is that she's sorting out. And like I said, this toy box is literally broken. You can see that broken piece right here. And then the bottom is literally like, it like fell out, like the bottom is broken. We're not gonna be bringing this to the new house. I'm just going to go ahead and either at least try to take it to my garage if it's too heavy for me to bring it all the way to the dumpster. I'll have to get like my dad or something to come help me later. But I'm gonna go ahead and move it out of here. Say bye bye to your toy box, Zaya. Bye bye. Good job, Zaya. So during that process, I basically found all these little plastic toys that Zaya really doesn't need. So we got like a bucket full. I'm gonna put this with our donation pile. So this pile of stuff, it's got a bunch of Zaya's old toys in there. Um, I've actually got like some leftover diapers and just other baby stuff, this thing. It used to be a much bigger pile from when I previously cleaned out all her stuff, but I donated most of it and gave it away to people that I knew that needed it. I just have some leftover stuff that didn't get donated yet. Open this, oh, you ready for your, your reward? You did a good job. You earned it. So I guess I'm just gonna put like the stuff like this in there. 
I get, I mean, I don't really know the best way to pack stuff like this, so we just gonna throw it in there. Okay, making progress. Now, obviously the really big stuff is gonna have to just be taken like separately by itself, obviously not put in a box or anything. This over here, I actually am planning on using this whole cubby shelf and set it up nicely in her new playroom. So I think I'm gonna really try to like keep these bins how they are and keep them organized. And this will probably be something that like I just take in my car, just safely how they are instead of trying to like pack them up. Huh? Can you put the tape on it, please? You want me to tape up the boxes? I'm not gonna tape them up yet because we're not moving just yet and we might end up wanting to add some stuff or take some stuff out of those boxes. So I'm not gonna tape them up just yet. Zaya is like ready to move. She's like, okay, tape up the boxes. Let's go, when are we leaving? Now I need to put Zaya down for her afternoon nap. Okay, boo boo, take a little nap so I can get some more packing up and organizing done. Uh, well, it is the next morning. I put Zaya down for a nap yesterday and I planned on getting more packing and stuff done, but then some other stuff came up that I had to do and I didn't get any more packing done. I also realized I didn't have any packing materials like bubble wrap and paper and stuff to really pack up anything. So I'm gonna need to go to Walmart or something today and get some stuff so I can pack up more of my like fragile decor and stuff. Today is Friday, which means it's a school day for Zaya. So I'm just about to drop her off. Bye. Because I packed it last night. See, I already put the stuff in there. All right, just dropped Zaya off at school. I'm actually going to uh, order me a Starbucks real quick. I'm gonna get an iced caramel cloud macchiato with almond milk and a bacon gouda egg sandwich. Hold the gouda, add sriracha. So after I pick up my Starbucks, I gotta go home real quick and then I'm meeting with my mom. My mom is basically like my freaking house planner, interior designer, assistant. I don't even know what <laughs> title you wanna give her, but she's the one who's helping me with my house. I have not hired any interior design. I can't say that for some reason. I have not hired any interior designer or anything like that. It's just me and my mom doing everything. And I'm just using my mom's experience from, you know, she's purchased homes multiple times before. So anyway, I'm meeting up with her and we're gonna go to this plumbing fixture place. I wanna switch out my bathroom sink fixtures to everything matte black. Right now it's just like the standard silver stuff. The builder did not have matte black when I was like picking the options for my house. So I just told them to put in like the cheap standard silver stuff and then I'll switch it out myself after. I'm trying to just narrow in on the last few little details on the house. It is so stressful. I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100% that bitch. You could have had a bad bitch. I'm gonna hit you back in a minute. I'm play time, bitch. I've been it. Why I'm being great today? Gotta be great. Just picked up all my packages from the mail room. Some of these packages have some stuff from my new house in it, though. So I'm gonna open it. So these are my kitchen drawer pulls, the things that go on the cabinets. I got long ones for the bigger drawers that you pull out, and then I got some shorter ones for just like the cabinets like this, but they're all gonna be black like this. So we are at the Ferguson Lighting Showroom place. They have light fixtures. All this stuff. Uh, ooh. Next level. Next level. 
I'm very attracted to all of the sparkly crystal chandeliers. Just spent the afternoon going to multiple um, light fixture, plumbing fixture, whatever you want to call it, type showroom stores. Pretty sure all in all, I found all the stuff in my bathroom that I need. I just need to kind of make sure before I order it. Packing paper sheets, this is what I need. $20, what the heck? <laughs> Why does everything cost so much money? <sighs> everything is so expensive. Moving is expensive. Building a house is expensive. Furnishing a house is expensive. Apparently sink faucets are really expensive. Just learned that today. Tape is expensive. This little thing of tape is $7.29. Whatever, just get it, because I need it and I don't have a choice. What am I gonna use, my spit to tape up the boxes? <laughs> <laughs> all right so basically what i accomplished today after going to all those different stores is i did find some light fixtures um for my kitchen island they were really nice looking they were decent price so i went ahead and ordered those and then i found all of the plumbing fixtures and stuff for my master bathroom and that stuff is so expensive you guys i did not realize how much this little not little bathroom makeover is going to cost me and obviously keep in mind i'm moving into a brand new home so i already just paid for the home itself or the bathroom itself i upgraded all of the tile options upgraded a lot of stuff in the bathroom to start off with like i keep saying my builder just did not have some of the options that i wanted so i knew i was going to have to go in and change some stuff after the fact but i didn't realize that all the stuff i wanted to change was going to cost this much money so there's that. <laughs> this this is gonna be a nice bathroom, okay? I'm gonna be in this bathroom all day, every day. I'm gonna eat in this bathroom, I'm gonna sleep in this bathroom, I'm gonna do everything in this bathroom. I'm gonna open my bathroom up as a salon so I can make some of this money back. Who's coming to Raven's Ratchet Salon in my bathroom? Book your appointment down below. <laughs> I've got all these packages coming in from stuff that I'm ordering because I'm ordering like light fixtures and like I said, drawer pulls. I ordered brass colored kind of golden brass color you can't really see it's hard to see in this bad lighting so this is what's going to be on my cabinets in my bathroom so i'm going to be doing a mixture of like this brass color and matte black with all the white marble tile okay so now it's about 2 30 i've got to pick up zaya from school by five so i've got a couple hours to try and get some packing done like i said i didn't get as much done as i wanted to yesterday so i'm gonna start wrapping up and packaging up all my little decorative stuff like this like this all my stuff over here on these shelves all these little fake plants all these plants are fake this stuff this all this stuff on these shelves oh and here comes my fedex guy what is he bringing what you got for me I think this is just a PR package. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is really happening. 
We have empty shelves. Oh, I can't believe I'm actually packing up my stuff right now. I wrapped up everything in like 16 layers of paper, shoved paper in between, there's bubble wrap in between, and that'll be one box done. Don't know if I've actually mentioned this on my YouTube channel yet, but my older brother, PJ, who you guys know and love, he actually started his own moving company. So perfect timing because now I can get my brother to be my moving company. So him and his crew are gonna be the ones who are taking all my boxes, putting them on his truck, bringing them to the new house. So it's gonna be my own brother doing it. So I'm definitely gonna be on him and making sure that he's very careful and telling him like which stuff is fragile and stuff like that. For this box, I'm gonna go ahead and put my decorative pillows in here, I guess. Might as well just pack these up. I know I'm gonna end up using these pillows somewhere in the house because they're all just like the same neutral color scheme that I'm gonna be going for, so they might end up on like the guest room bed or the couch or the couch upstairs or somewhere in my office or something like that. But I know they're gonna get used because you can never have too many throw pillows. So I think that's really it down here in terms of stuff that I can pack right now. Did you have fun at school today? Put your arms in the straps. Thank you. Good job, and I'll help you. You see I packed up all the stuff off of the shelves and everything, and all the pillows, and I put them over there in those boxes. What do you think about that? So just got back from picking up Zaya from school. Traffic was bad, so it's like literally already six o'clock now. And no, Zaya, no Barbie snack because we're about to have dinner. But yeah, like I was about to say, it's gonna be dinner time soon. And with everything that's been going on with the house and everything, I've been so stressed out, so busy, so tired by the time dinner time rolls around. I have admittedly been eating out a lot. But today, perfect timing, I got my HelloFresh delivery. Came to my door today. So yeah, it's been a long day and I'm still not even done packing yet. But Zaya and I still need to eat. So I am actually gonna cook something, but it's gonna be a lot easier because, you know, HelloFresh makes it easy. So you guys already know I love HelloFresh. I've used them in my vlogs before. I just love the fact that it makes dinner time so simple and easy. They take all the guesswork out of it. They do all the planning and the prep and making the recipes for you. They even do the grocery shopping for you. You do not have to shop for the ingredients. Everything is already pre-portioned out to exactly what you need in each box in each bag and the instructions are super easy to follow each recipe card shows you pictures and only has six steps for how to complete the meal everything is super easy you don't have to be a super chef to cook these meals and they all come together in about 30 minutes so they're super fast to make they don't require a lot of pots and pans and it's minimal cleanup which is great for me all the recipes are picky eater approved they are kid tested so they're great for Saya and I. Okay, what do you want to eat? We got honey glazed pork tenderloin, chimichurri steak, chicken cheddar fajitas. What's in the free bags? These are our ingredients. You want to do this one? Uh-huh. They have different plans to choose from depending on what you need. You can get the classic plan, the veggie plan, or the family plan. Ready to cook? And it's just a good way to get out of your rut of always cooking the same thing. You can get out of your comfort zone a little bit, discover some new recipes, and just have fun with cooking. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Two potatoes. Zaya sees me putting my HelloFresh apron on and she loves to put her little apron on too and come into the kitchen and help me prepare the meal so it's a fun little bonding time as well. We need to season them. You need to season them? <laughs> HelloFresh is now available from just $6.99 per serving, and they did give me a promo code for this video. You guys can get eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Just go to HelloFresh.com and enter the promo code RavenElise80. All right, done with dinner. Now I want to pack up a little bit more stuff upstairs before I put Zaya down for bed. We better pack up now so we go to the new house in one second. Okay, so we got this big box. 
And we've got all your little decorative stuff over here on your cubby that we can start packing out. Like your little statues and stuff like this. I want you to go underneath there, get all the stuffed animals and pillows and put them in the box, okay? Good job. Can you get the pillows too? <laughs> you just need all the ones that you don't actually use to sleep. We can go ahead and pack those up. Picture frames. All this stuff will most likely still match really good for her new bedroom, which I'm not gonna do the exact theme <laughs> in her new room. It's gonna be like a new theme, but it's still gonna have like these colors somewhere in there. So I'm pretty sure most of this stuff will still be able to like match and, you know, be nice and decorative and still go with her new bedroom. Some of these little things are little DIY projects I did for her nursery before she was even born. I made these little flags and this little jar before she was even born. And I think they've run their course, so I'll probably end up throwing these away. It's just paper. I also made this little feather dream catcher thing. I painted these feathers. This is another thing I made before she was even born for her nursery. Okay, so now you can see the progress. Cubbies are empty. Top part is cleared off. Took the letters and stuff and decorative stuff off the walls. You ready to go take a bath? I was gonna try and pack up some stuff in my room too, but I ain't got it in me. I'm tired, boss. So I think I'm just gonna get Zion ready for bed. And then I am going to get myself ready for bed. It's been a long day. Woo! I wish I would have counted on camera, but Zaya got out of the bathtub and she's got her baby doll. And I was just like looking at my phone or whatever. And all of a sudden I hear her saying, you are smart. You are beautiful. And you are smart. <laughs> and you know Thank your you name. <laughs> what were you saying? She's beautiful and and cute. You gonna put your baby down for night night? She's still awake. She said I'm awake. So I'm gonna open the not close. But it's night night time. Okay, you're gonna give her a kiss and say night night. Night night. 